All right, everyone, welcome to episode two of Lost in Time, um, a series that consists of places in Mississippi that have been lost in time. And, and today we're at the Mississippi River Basin model. Um, this model was originally built in the 1940s following, of course, the Great 27 Flood uh, that displaced over half a million residents. Um, with that flood came the idea to create a scale model of the Mississippi River Basin um, to predict on how the flooding might occur in the future. So, by the 1940s, the United States had entered the Second World War. And by entering the Second World War, we had an influx of free workers. Those free workers being the German and Italian soldiers that were captured from the Western, um, or from the African Front, um, African Corps, rather. And this group of people were sent here to the Mississippi um, region, and the Jackson region specifically, to build this, a 1 20,000th scale model of the United States and the river systems that flow in it. And as we step inside here, you can tell it's, this is one of the main pumping houses that flowed the water through the um, river basin model. Now, this, was, um, this model was so large, in fact, that the Rocky Mountains in the model were the size of, I think 50 feet was the highest one in the Rocky Mountain um, description of it. However, this was all built by German and Italian prisoners of war, and it was used for a very long time, up until the 1980s, when um, the introduction of computers and systems seemed to be doing the job a lot better. So... You can tell it has a nice, weird vibe. There used to be a clock in here back in the day when I came to visit when I was much younger. Um, it had different things in here, but it's kind of kind of eerie in here. I don't, don't very, very much care for that. But uh, this was the, one of the original main pump houses that flowed water through the river basin model. And today we are going to be going through this over, I believe it's two miles of land to take a look at everything that is here. So stay with me. Now, after that first video, I do realize that was kind of long. So this video is gonna be much shorter, probably around seven to eight minute mark. Um, and enjoy the journey with us as we go off. With the introduction of, kind of watching my step here because of the wasp and whatnot. With the introduction of the computer models in the 1970s and early 80s, this area became completely abandoned. So all the work that these German and Italian soldier, uh, prisoners of war put in was lost to time. And it is what we see today. And the actual river basin model itself is fairly cool and we will be walking that way next. So just kind of trying to watch my steps here so I don't step in any snakes. That graffiti really does sum up this area forgotten. Now, um, as we're walking towards the river model, this is the beginning of the base model over here. Um, I'm going to tell you a pretty interesting story. One of the German POWs uh, was able to actually escape the um, prisoner of war camp here in late 44. And Jackson is a solid 15 miles from here. And he was able <laughs> to walk all the way to Jackson, walk to downtown Jackson, made his way into a hotel called the King Edward, which is a very historical hotel in Jackson, Mississippi, he stepped into the bar, and he didn't speak any English. The only word he knew was Coke. So he went up to the bartender and said, Coke. And the bartender, kind of guessing it from his appearance and from his, um, I guess, uh, um, German accent, said, this guy doesn't seem quite right. It was the in, nearing the end of the war in 44. So he, of course, reported him to the authorities. And the police showed up, and they were about to arrest him, but they would let him finish his coke before they brought him back here to continue working on this project. And as we are standing right now, this is the beginning of the river model. As you can see, these little divots and holes that have been carved out so carefully with the pumping systems to the right that connect back to this way um, show how dedicated the engineers were to the program to stop a flood of the magnitude of the 27th flood and this river model will go far far back and I'm I'm gonna end up walking down here on this in a moment and walk into the back area 
because there's an old guard tower you can stand up in that uh, the prisoners of war were observed from, um, which is a pretty very eerie thing to stand up there and look down from. Um, if I can make my way back there, I will, and we will continue with the little video tour. And it's incredible to grasp this just sheer magnitude of this entire structure. Everything was so diligently pointed out and drawn up, all to prevent another catastrophic flood from occurring in the Mississippi River Basin. And they, the uh, engineers that designed this, the Army Corps engineers, went above and beyond in designing this replica. And it had multiple successful testing um, throughout its period of life. Um, however, following the introduction of computers, the process became much cheaper and this place was left in dis disrepair and completely abandoned. But it is a spectacular, spectacular piece of history. I'm trying to watch my step, of course. I don't want to step in any holes or anything. I'll mess my legs up. But isn't this something? And this scale goes for miles. Incredible. I've been walking for probably about a mile now, and I'm not lost. <laughs> I, uh, I just don't quite know where I am right now. But that's okay, because we're going to find our way back to the front of it eventually. I mean, you read about how big this thing is and on the internet and whatnot, and it's... It's, um, yeah, it, it lives up to that reputation. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but definitely not lost. Just not quite sure where I am, especially in this older part, in this older section back here. We're going to go left. So it's starting to turn out to be more like I might be lost. Maybe. Possibly. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, so I'd use the word lost now. Um, I found this old road, or it appears to be an old road, um, but I still don't really know where I am. I mean, this thing's only two, two and a half miles. Oh, that was definitely a spider. I really hope that didn't get on me. Um, it's only, what, two, two and a half miles uh, well, I'll find my way back eventually. Anyway, hopefully I'll have an update soon, because as of now, it's just this little road. Well, I ended up making it back to my car. It took another 45 minutes, give or take, but we made it. Um, unfortunately, I could not find the guard tower. I believe um, it must have collapsed because I simply couldn't see it when I was walking and the area that I remembered it being at, so... But then again, I was lost. Uh, not lost, excuse me, I was displaced. Um, that's a good way to put it, I was displaced. Uh, so I didn't end up seeing it. I'm sorry about that. However, if you did enjoy the video, you did enjoy the little backstory, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and if you absolutely hate a video, <laughs> feel free to give it a dislike. Um, more content will be coming soon, I'm looking at three or four different areas in the Mississippi Delta to film next. And then after that, we will head south and head towards Natchez, probably. So stay tuned. Lots of exciting things coming your way.